recording partners of the East Kingdom and friends of Fox and Ongo. I'm made, made in the same essential of the East Kingdom. In consultation with the society essential, our ceremony today is the time to the board and actors from July 29th about these personal events. In addition, there are many safety protocols in place to ensure that everybody is as safe as possible today while also in compliance with these guidelines for in person events. Thank you for joining us. You're in over the court of Her Majesty, Margarita de Siena, Queen of the East. Greetings, good gentles, one and all. As a part of Her Majesty's court, there's a lot of business that gets taken care of, and these last few pieces were not to be overlooked, and so we wanted to bring these on the record. Unto all assembled, let it be known that we, Queen Margarita, have heard many words of praise and martial prowess of one fine gentle, Lord Evan Ringo. His skill and command with greatsword and polearm are of great benefit to these magnificent eastern lands. He gives of this time and skill not only on the field of battle, but in service to his barony as Deputy Chatelain. Like a homing bird, he'll fly into the throes of battle with his sword held high, standing at the ready. Hear the cry of the warrior Chatelain. Come together right now over me. We proclaim just and right that one of such high repute be inducted into the Order of the Silver Tiger. Illumination of Words by Marion Kirkpatrick, Calligraphy by Alexei Dmitriev. For did Bran Finn Makeda travel defending his queen's land. Upon the fields of Penzik into battle he ran. Polearm held out before him, tigers all around sought the blood of enemies, sending them to ground. Returned a champion to the east, before his queen he knelt in peace. A silver tiger she placed upon him. Margarita did thank him, and award by her arms. Scroll by Audrey Bennett. Her Majesty would invite into her court, Gawain McOwain. Oh, there you are. Hi. Hi. Um, so I get to do this today. Because you have been jumping in, in all kinds of different places. And not just with your fighting, which probably most people know you for. But you've been jumping in, you help on Queen's Guards. When somebody is in need, you are the first one to jump in, whether it's they're having a bad day and need someone to talk to, or if they have a lot of stuff in their car and you're like, here, let me help you. You always are doing it with a smile. You are continually working with booth guards and marshals to teach and to learn and to improve skills. But you are always making sure that if anyone needs anything, you're jumping in to serve. And that today is what I get to recognize you for. All of that service. There are some in this kingdom who are known only for just one thing. But there are others who are known for more things and greater things, among them service to the kingdom of the East, to their friends, and to those who are in need in whatever way they may be. One such servant to the East is Gawain MacGuy. And thus this day do we, Margarita de Siena, Queen of the East, name him a companion of the Order of the Silver Wheel. Thank you. In all seriousness, thank you for the things that you do. Um, it is a great service to the kingdom and to the people around you. Make up. <laughs> For Gawain, newest companion of the Order of the Silver Wheel, Vivat. 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 Margarita would have before her the captain of her guard, Devlin McPherson. Your Majesty, please, if I may, a moment. I believe before you release your guards, you have business with another member of your court. Her Majesty would have before her Master Malcolm Bowman. Yeah. 
Malcolm, you have been wonderful throughout my entire reign. You have jumped in. Um, I, I said before, the best decision I ever said was sold um, when you offered your services. And to, there's not a lot I can do for you. And, and I want to recognize you because this is not the first time you've done this job. I'm sure it won't be the last time. You can continue to serve the East in so many ways. And today, I get to do this. A reign is composed of several moving parts. The devoted service of Malcolm Bowman in both Crown and Kingdom is most worthy of recognition. Know that I, Margarita, Queen of the East, value his time, energy, and sacrifice of personal life on behalf of and in dedication to our realm and bestow upon him an augmentation of arms. And we bid him consult with the College of Pearls in a timely fashion that is an appropriate and meaningful to all be chosen to incorporate in his regard. Done this 15th day of August, Anna Sophia taught us 55 at the last court of Her Majesty, Queen Margarita. Thank you. Thank you. So by Elfeth Donofre. Thank you, Thank you. For Master Malcolm and his augmentation of arms, Vivat! 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 Gotcha. <laughs> I feel gone. Good. Wait. <clears throat> I'll try that again. Wait, I'm actually for the captain of her guards, Devlin McPherson. Yep. I want to thank you for everything that you've done for me. You jumped in and you took on this position, and I could not have made a better choice. You've been organized, you've been courteous, you've kept everybody on point. I have not had to worry about a thing. I appreciate everything you have done as captain of my guard. And I cannot wait until a time when we can all gather and relax together. Please tell your guards thank you. And thank you for your service. Our Royal Majesty, it has been an honor and a pleasure. I spoke to several guards, they feel the same. Thank you for the opportunity. For Devlin McPherson and his service as captain of Her Majesty Margarita's Queen's Guard. Be boss! Be boss! My dearest East, this is a day for celebration. I cannot wait to see my heirs, and I feel that it's time to call them forth. Her Majesty! We call before her, Air Consort Prince Albrecht.
my dear Prince Consuls from your Queen Margarita. While it's been an utter joy to have been able to serve the East Kingdom as Queen and to do so for these many, many months. However, as summer grows long, the time has come for me to step aside and coordinate you as the Tiger Consuls of this Kingdom. Make with your greatest speed to my court in the Shire of Quintavia that I may see you crowned as my heirs. Let no earthly force stop you from making your travels to assume your well-earned places as rulers of the East. With all my love, Margarita, Queen of the East. Dearest Prince Albert, it seems so long ago that you were invested as my heir. Is it still your desire to serve this great kingdom? It is. It is my honor and privilege to crown you consul of the East. Thank you. For Albert, consul of the East, we vote! We vote! We vote! Your Majesty Albert, by right of arms, the Empire of the East. They'll have two consuls crowned this day. Thank you. Please call them. The Majesty would invite in court Prince Tyndall. Greetings, good Tyndall, from your sovereign heir consort, Albert von Rostock. I have received word from the Queen that she has intent to crown us at her court in the Shire of Quintavia. I leave upon tomorrow for the court. Pray make haste and meet me there. I send this message with the unbroken arrow of war. 
Know that the borders of the East are secure and that you may safely return from the borders. Make all good haste in your return as upon Saturn's day on the Ides of Augustus we shall take our place upon the Tiger Thrones as consuls. Alberic, Prince of Tiramara, heir to the Tiger Throne. Prince Tyndall, it is time to take your rightful place as Consul Tiger of the East. I do this day crown you. For Consul Tyndall of the East, Eva! 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 For Consul Tyndall, and Consul Albrecht. Be boss. Be boss. Be boss. Your Majesties, there are a couple more steps that you must take before you claim the throne before the populace. Please, step here. Your Majesties, before you is a reliquary containing dirt from the ground where the first tournament of our society was held. Please place your hands upon the box. You swear upon this hallowed earth that you will lead our kingdom and all its people with justice, honor, and glory in peace or in war. We do. Your Majesty, this is an unction of water from the Bay of the Mistland from which the society originated. Please take up the waters. Water is life as the consuls of the kingdom of the East you are the beating heart that, like this water, sustains the life of the kingdom. You swear to stand for all the people of this kingdom, support their many endeavors, and bring kindness, compassion, and light across the kingdom and the known world. We do. Your Majesties, please take the next step towards the throne. Apostle Tyndall, please pick up the sword of state named Justice which the crown represents for all nobles and gentles alike. Uncle Albrecht, please take up the Orb Orientalis, representative of the traditions and long history of the kingdom. On behalf of the owner of the story, I do confirm that Albert and Tyndall are the apostles of the East. Uh, 
Hi, Rosius. On behalf of the world, I attend the Tyndall of Albert this day. Our crown is coming to the east. On behalf of the Order of the Calvary, I affirm that Tyndall of Albert are this day crowned as consul of the east. I fortune, on behalf of the Order of the Rose, I affirm that Tyndall and Albrecht are on this day crowned as the consul of the East. On behalf of the Order of Defense, I, Thomas of Eckerman, affirm that Tyndall and Albrecht are this day crowned as consuls of the East. For gentle ball, people of the East, I give to you consul Tyndall and consul Albrecht. Consulars of the East, long live the consuls of the East. 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 The consuls of the East now receive fealty from the kingdom seneschal. I base orders of healthy essential of the East Kingdom swear to advise you to invest in my abilities for the flaws of peace and order society. As we continue to experience these unprecedented times, I will work with you to develop mm -hmm. pathways where there are not, so that the East will continue to thrive. So say all of I swear, as a greater officer of state, by the past crowns of the East, the manes of my ancestors, and my own honor and unbreakable oath that I will follow and respect the leadership of the crown of the East. I will promise to serve under the standards of my allotted duties and not break them unless discharged by my crown. I will serve the East faithfully and with all due respect to society law, the kingdom, and subjects of the East. So say I, Malcolm Bowman, Brigantia Principal Herald. I swear, as a greater officer of state, by the past crowns of the East, the manes of my ancestors, and my own honor and unbreakable oath that I will follow and respect the leadership of the crown of the East, I will promise to serve under the standards of my allotted duties and not break them unless discharged by the crown. I will serve the East faithfully and with all due respect to society law, the kingdom, and subjects of the East. So say I, Visibald, Earl Marshall. I swear, as a greater officer of state, by the past crowns of the East, the names of my ancestors, and my own honor and unbreakable oath, that I will follow and respect the leadership of the crowns of the East. I will promise to serve under the standards of my allotted duties and not break them unless discharged by my crown. I will serve the East faithfully and with all due respect to society law, the kingdom, and subjects of the East. So say I, Baron Mikyal Bogmother. I swear as a greater officer of state, by past crowns of the East, the names of my ancestors and my own honor and unbreakable oath that I will follow and respect the leadership of the crown of the East. I will promise to serve under the standards of my allotted duty and not break them unless the char this charge by my crown. I will serve the East faithfully and I will, and with all due respect to society law, the kingdom and the subjects of the East. So say I, Moore Kilkenny, Kingdom Chronicler. I promise, as a greater officer of the state, by the past crowns of the East, the names of my ancestors, and my own honor and unbreakable oath, that I will respect the leadership of the crown of the East. I will promise to serve under the standards of my allotted duties and not break them unless discharged by my crown. I will serve the East faithfully and with all due respect to society law, the kingdom, and subjects of the East. So say I, Lissa, Minister of Arts and Sciences. I will be faithful and true, and faith and loyalty will bear to the kingdom of the East, of life, of member, and of earthly honor against all people who may live and die, 
and truly will acknowledge and freely will do the services which belong to the office of Tiger Clerk of the Signet, which office I hold from you and which you render to me. So say I, Ava Woodrose, Mistress of the Laurel. I swear as a greater officer of state, by the past crowns of the East, the main of my ancestor and my own honor and unbreakable oath, that I will follow and respect the leadership of the crown of the East. I will promise to serve under the standard of my allotted duties and not break them unless discharged by my crown. I will serve the East faithfully and with all due respect to society law, the kingdom and subject of the East. So say I, Baroness Caledon, Indian Wiccan Wadi, East Kingdom Shatlin. I swear as a greater officer of state by the past crowns of the East, the manes of my ancestors and my own honor and unbreakable oath that I will follow and respect the leadership of the crown of the East. I will promise to serve under the standards of my allotted duties and not break them unless discharged by my crown. I will serve the East faithfully and with all due respect to society law, the kingdom and subjects of the East. So say I, Hugeline the Delicate, Chancellor Minor. I swear as a greater officer of state by the past crowns of the East, the manes of my ancestors and my own honor and unbreakable oath that I will follow and respect the leadership of the crown of the East. I will promise to serve under the standards of my allotted duties and not break them unless discharged by the crown. I will serve the East faithfully and with all due respect to society law, the kingdom and subjects of the East. So say I, Matthias von Würzburg, Kingdom Web Minister. I honor it. And I did not to hear your words and cherish your counsel, especially now. For you have our protection of the crown. Time of peace, war, and plenty. So, so swear I, Albert von Rostock. And I, Magnus Dippen. To the consulates of the East would now receive representatives of the Viceroy and Viceroy Gobos Guard and the landed Baron and Baronesses of the Kingdom of the East to give fealty. Their Excellencies Thomas and Rossi of the Pearl India. And you have some on behalf of the East, we swear that we will faithfully execute our duties on behalf of the consuls of the East. We shall never desert the service, and we shall uphold the law and policy locally for the betterment of the crown and the kingdom. So we swear we, Thomas Abraham. As holders of these lands, on behalf of the crown of the East, we swear that we will faithfully execute our duties on behalf of the consuls of the East. We shall never desert this service. And we shall uphold law and policy locally for the betterment of the crown and kingdom. So, so swear we, Suter and Lada, Viceroy and Viceroy of the Crown Province of Uskard. As holder of these lands on behalf of the crown of the East, we, we swear, swear that we will faithfully execute our duties on behalf of the consuls of the East. We shall never desert the service, and we shall uphold law and policy locally for the betterment of crown and kingdom. So swear we, Mark and Gwenlian, Baron and Baroness of Barony Beyond the Mountain. As holder of these lands, on behalf of the crown of the East, I swear that I will faithfully execute my duties on behalf of of the consuls of the East. I shall never desert the service, and I shall uphold the law and policy locally for the betterment of the crown and kingdom. So swear I. The first and greatest calamity, the great Khan of the Pictish tribes of the north, the darkness that haunts Rome's nightmares, Mwin Mekmanain, Baron of Bacale. Long live the East. As holder of these lands on behalf of the crown of the East, I swear that I will faithfully execute my duties on behalf of the consuls of the East. I shall never desert the service. 
I shall uphold law and policy locally for the betterment of crown and kingdom. So swear I, Len Worm, Baroness of Dragonship Haven. So swear I, Rode Kefalina, Baroness of Dragonship Haven. So, so say we, Phelan and Maria, Baron and Baroness of, of Concordia, Concordia of, of the, the Snows. Snows. As, As the holder of, of these lands, land, on behalf of the crown of the East, we swear that we will faithfully execute our duties on behalf of the consuls of the East. We shall never desert the service, and we shall uphold law and policy locally for the betterment of crown and kingdom. So, so swear we, we Taisha, Marit, Baronesses of Perillus. As holders of these lands on behalf of the crown of the East, we swear that we will faithfully execute our duties on behalf of the consuls of the East. We shall never desert the service, and we shall uphold the law and policy locally for the betterment of crown and kingdom. So swear we, Baroness Deirdre, Baron Keziah of the Barony of Stonemarch. As holders of these lands on behalf of the crown of the East, we swear that we will faithfully execute our duties on behalf of the consuls of the East. We shall never desert the service, and we shall uphold law and policy locally for the betterment of the crown and kingdom. So swear we, Percival and Admiranda, Baron and Baroness of Rontalen. As holder of these lands, on behalf of the Crown of the East, I swear that I will faithfully execute my duties on behalf of the Consuls of the East. I shall never desert the service, and I shall uphold the law and policy locally for the betterment of Crown and Kingdom. So swear I, Lord Johannes Phileas Nikolai, Baron of Bergenthal. As holders of these lands, on behalf of the Crown of the East, we swear that we will faithfully execute our duties on behalf of the consuls of the East. We shall never desert the service. And we shall uphold the law and policy locally for the betterment of the crown and the kingdom. So swear we, Sorcia of Stonegrave, Baroness. And Titus Aurelius Magnus, Prefect. Of the Barony of Andebegin. As holder of these lands on behalf of the crown of the east, we swear that we will faithfully execute our duties on behalf of the consuls of the east. We shall never desert the service, and we shall uphold law and policy locally for the betterment of crown and kingdom. So swear we, Declan Goba, Baron, and Avelyn Inion we Faden, Baroness, of the Barony of Iron Bog. As holders, As holders of these lands, lands on behalf of the, of the crown of the east, we swear that we will faithfully execute our duties on behalf of the consuls of the east. We shall never desert the service, and we shall uphold law and policy locally for the betterment of crown and kingdom. So swear we, Otto, and Agatha, Baron, and Baroness, of Endward. As holders of these lands on behalf of the crown of the east, we swear that we will faithfully execute our duties on behalf of the consuls of the east. We shall never desert the service, and we shall uphold the law and policy locally for the betterment of the crown and kingdom. So swear we, and Sigrid, and Baroness of Buckling Cross. I, Albert, and I, Pendle to hear your words and know them to be true. Now more than ever, those who hold lands in the name of the king are vitally important. We have our protection. They will hear your counsel in times of war and peace. Thank you. So say I, Kendall, and I, Albrecht, on Rostock, consuls of the East. Your Majesties, Tingle and Albert, hold the four down, Margarita B. Sienna. Long, long have you served in Long 
character with more joy and with more grace than anyone could have asked or expected. You have worked with us. You have so much in us. As we set history, and as history set upon us, your time upon these thrones has come to an end. And you have earned recognition and reward for that service that has gone beyond. We would do two things, three things. First, we would confer upon you the rank of Countess with all of the rights and responsibilities that all who see you may know of the service you have given the East and our society. The soil and sky and sun of Tuscany have yielded grapes and olives from of old. Her artists, too, have earned their worth in gold. Her churches have their works for all to see. Sienna's daisy rose to gallantry and ruled the east. Now here it must be told of labors and of travels manifold, of royal duties vexed most excellently. Herein is proof of Margarita's worth. Upon the field of war she shows great heart. The title of Contessa she has earned. In time of peace, she is the soul of mirth, most generous patroness of Eastern art. Such great love shown to us is now returned. In token of the love we bear, our most loyal Margarita de Siena to we, Magnus Tyndall and Albert von Rothstock, consuls of these Eastern lands, recognize her as Contessa Margarita de Siena in gratitude for her, her service with all the rights, honors, and dignities appertaining thereunto most especially the right to bear these arms by letters patent. Her pale argent and sable on a goblet fanwise, sinister inverted, distilling about the song of Daisy counterchain, seated gold, unachieved, three mullets counterchanged. Gold, for time by Jonathan Black, in words by Maestro Anna de Guzman. That's a blazer. <laughs> that is a blazer. <laughs> but yet there is something more we must add to that. Further, do we, at this time, Tyndall and Albrecht, consuls of the East, that Margarita should also receive an augmentation of arms for all the great deeds that she has done and for her long service? None of us will ever forget the year that has brought us to now. And I think that it's important that as our words augment your arms, it is because you have uplifted this kingdom. It is on a sea of voices that acts that you be recognized in a way that because we will never forget now, we should also never forget who carried us through. That was you. A true inspiration to the kingdom of the East. For Contessa Margarita de Siena, I spoke of a third thing. There's an order that would see you included amongst them. An order that serves with wisdom and with grace. And whose counsel would benefit from your experience. Because the things that you have seen us through we will have to navigate ourselves, and we need your words and your mind. The consuls of the East would call before them any companions of the Order of the Rose who may be present. Uh, is there a member of the chivalry that would speak for this candidate? There is, Consuls. I'm Sir Colin McKinnon, and I would claim that right. 
If I knew nothing else of this woman except what she did for this kingdom, I would know her by her courage. Her courage to step up as a single monarch in a time of great, great stress. I would know her by her generosity, the generosity she has shown giving her time to the, to the people of the East. I would know her by her compassion. I would know her by her faith, her faith in this kingdom, the faith that has kept her through these many months. That alone would have me recommend you. But I know her as much, much more. And I would say to you, she is my peer. Thank you, sir. Is there a member of the Order of the Laurel that will speak for this candidate? There is. I bring word. So, from this nice Unto the nobles of each kingdom do I, Ismay Sterling, member of the Order of the Laurel, and the honor speaking for Margarita de Siena. The Order of the Laurel focuses on the arts. It's within the art we represent and defend the kingdom. Over the past year, I have been continually amazed at the art of Margarita. In the good times and challenging times, Margarita has always had a smile on her face. She was always represented the age with kindness, courtesy, and love. As every moment, Margaret has been a shining example of the strength of the East. And while the art of statesmanship is one in which Margaret excels, I can ask to many of you, she also pursues more theatrical arts. Margaret is a talented and an obvious singer. She has been known to move an audience to tears or a certain army on the field. Margaret is also a scholar that published scribe. During her reign, she illuminated numerous scrolls of went the populace. Finally, she is an emerging seamstress. Margaret is thirst for knowledge and the willingness to listen and create are inspiring. At every moment, Margaret is choosing to do better for the kingdom and better for herself. Margaret is the epitome of an excellent leader. She leads with her heart. But more importantly, she leads by example. Will I to do the work and will the work? Therefore, I see no better example of the road than Margaret is using. Thank you, Rick. Is there a member of the order of the Pelican that would speak for this candidate? Your Majesties, I am Master Malcolm Bowman, and I would claim that right this day. When it comes to service, there is none I can think of who performs service on behalf of the kingdom and the peoples of the known world than Contessa Margarita. I have had the privilege of watching her single-handedly, not of her own choice, maintain this kingdom and keep the people happy and in a time of crisis and in the craziest situations any of us could imagine, Margarita stepped up and service with what she did. This is not the only service she has done for this society she has booked the feast, she has autocratic events, she has done so very much. I do not believe that she is a peer. I'm not, she is my peer. I'm her peer. I hope to be half the peer that she is. Thank you. Butler, is there a member of the order of defense to talk for this candidate? Greetings, Your Majesties. I bear the words of Sir Antonio Petrasso, Master of Defense. To Your Majesty's greetings, I regret that circumstances bar me from presenting these words in person, for I would speak from the heart, but I am confident that Master Thomas will faithfully convey my sentiment. From the inception of the Order of Defense, lo, these five years ago, there has been a great debate concerning the single quality about which a member of our Order should attest upon the elevation of a fellow peer. To date, there is no consensus, but one particular quality arises again and again, yet I have never elected to speak on it until now. Perseverance, the single most important quality for which all of those who have toiled for the creation of my order must be credited, and a quality that has been uniquely embodied by the woman before you. 
Others will speak of the grace with which she faced many challenges of reigning in these unprecedented times, or the skill with which she did so. I will attest to the sheer unadulterated grit that she displayed every moment of the last 10 months. I have not words to adequately quantify the determination she must have possessed to repeatedly reinvent the most important role in our kingdom while on constant display under merciless scrutiny and to have remained a beacon of positivity and hope throughout. I am humbled by what she has accomplished on behalf of this kingdom. No thanks seems sufficient, but I am at least privileged to call her my peer. I agree with Master Antonio. Back in yeah, the yeah. Well, like kind of come and speak for the Order of the Rose. My dear Margarita, in their words, Prince Thomas wrote, it is an honor to speak to Margarita because a few years ago, after I stepped down as Queen of Atlantia, now there was a job. Margarita and I were hanging out, and it dawned on me right before me was someone who could really be queen someday. The job is about as multifaceted as being a CEO of a medieval multi time period organization can be. It requires leadership, diplomacy, innovation, creativity, patience more patience, and most of all, love. This fine woman had all of that, and I've watched her accomplishments and skills grow and refine into the magnificent woman that she is today. She was my first companion, and I can joyfully say that she's now my peer. There are many things that recommend one as the Lady of the Rose. Grace and graciousness, compassion and courage, honor and honesty. And above all, integrity and excellence and vision and service to the ideals that we hold sacred in society. I can say that with a full heart that Margarita bears all these attributes to be virtue at shining level as to be a beacon to us all as how, serve, how to serve one's kingdom with everything that one has and then some. She has seen the East through perilous times and helped create a foundation to deal with the changes required in what we do that will see us all safely to the other side of this pandemic. And she's done this with love and compassion, cheerfulness and grace, leading and being a vital part of the leadership of this kingdom. She's a rose in all the ways we remember the great roses of legend and fond memory. She is a rose that stands out in the garden of roses, for she has been tested by trying time and brought great honor and excellence to the kingdom who will always love her, as I love her. And it makes it possible for me to say that I cannot recommend this wonderful woman to be more completely to your majesty into the fine order of the ladies of the rose. She is my peer and my friend. And now I knew her from her. Thank you, Reverend. Now would be the normal time I would call for the items to recognize you of this great honor. Well, the roses present, please help me place these items upon Margarita DCM. was made by the Honorable Lord Sigberger, Catherine and One of a kind. Some will speak a tale they'll spin of noble deeds long turned to dust. We'll freshly mourn for times gone past, for history glory lost to us. They'll say, where has honor gone? Where the belt? that gracefully hung from noble waist, where once the aim of mighty men was simply seen and easily traced, where the vision brightly shining, where the path so clearly laid, 
Hear our purpose pure and shared in blood and friendship equally paid. Where the hallowed, hallowed hills, where we were wont to strive or sing, where the mirth and merriment that made the timbered woodlands ring, where the bard whose chanting voice would stir the hearts of better men, where the verse and where the rhyme will never hear that sound again. Gone the meat hall, gone the cup, the fire that there has long been dead, and moss and lichen gather now, where rightful rulers ably led. Gone the field of flashing steel, where rivals met with open hand. Gone the grace and gone the skill, as fear now stalks our fertile land. Our brightest days are long behind us, the trust we place in you is spent. Not remain of our finest hour, but these are words of sad lament. Lo, Margarita will say, I'll not deny those days of glory have left their mark upon us all. I will deny we've heard the last of honored, brilliant, clarity all. For all at this heart in friendship clap. I see the same, no more, no less. True heroes of our past would know our glories now not lost to us. For here sits honor on her bench, and there is vision, steady gaze, and in this breast the duty live. In all our souls, bright purpose blaze. For when we stand to face the dark, the east's true strength is shown. We keep alive the only hope this tattered world has lately known. The old ways are reborn in us, our story's not yet ended. This bar will fire your noble hearts to keep our land defended. And so do we, Tyndall and Albrecht, consuls of these unbound eastern lands, Roar that Margarita's deeds will not pass into silence, for her untiring work in leading, inspiring, and loving these lands and her people, to be grant her all rights, privileges, honors, and duties as a lady of the rose, and take part. Heroes shining like pearls walk among us, so none may gainsay our words. We fix our ensign's manual in our mighty shire of Quintavia. On this 15th day of August, on the Societatis 55. Based on Pony by Comte Marguerite, words by Matthias Grunwald. Your Excellency. Before we send you away, sit vigil, to hear the words of others. Hearing strong words of praise, I was reminded of a day last fall we got to become your heirs. And His Majesty and I looked at you and we said that we were on board, that we were we were on your team. And I could not have imagined how true those words would have been, how important and vital that teamwork was to get us to this moment. And as I hear others espouse your virtues, there's one that I I will carry with me and try to live up to as we sit the throne. And that is certainly your joy. Before you go and sit vigil, that others may remember that that is what you have brought this kingdom. You have said this to many of others, but your smile is as contagious as everyone else's. Your smile and laughter has become an inspiration to me as well to, as to the East Kingdom. Please go sit vigil and hear the words of others. I, Contessa Margarita de Tiana, can give my guilty to the Contessa and the righteousness of the rulers of the I promise you my castle in good times and bad. I promise to be here when you need to hear. And I promise to share a new joy in your life. And I cannot wait to see where you take me. So, sir. I, Albert, and I, Tibble, hear your words and know them to be true. And I, we trigger your counsel in times of war and in times of peace. You know that there is no bad. Maybe protect yours in your lands moving forward ever as a beloved Eastern tiger. So the world ends for the crowns are up there. I would call you Contessa Margarita Siena, Joy of the East. Contessa Margarita de Siena, 
joy of the East. Depart! 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 Before we proceed, there's a small amount of business that we need to attend to. On today, the 9th of August, 2020, Magnus Tyndall and Albert von Rostock, the crown of the East Kingdom, have issued a temporary removal from participation from the SCA against John Transu, known in the society as Derek de Bucorn Noir. So it's the I, Magnus Tyndall, and I, Albert von Rostock, councils of the East. People of the East, subjects of the East, friends, tigers. As we move forward, we need to move with hope, but we need to move together. If we are going to stay a kingdom, we need to rely on each other. We need to find comfort in each other. We need to lift each other up. Winter is coming. That has never stopped us before. It shall not this year. My East Kingdom. One of my favorite quotes in the Psalms is from a friend of mine, Master John Littleton, who currently resides in the Kingdom of Trimeris. East realm my home, East realm my heart, East realm I will defend forever and ever. It is my wish and our wish to keep that hope alive and the dream alive with all the things that you have been continuing to do. We will survive as a kingdom and be stronger for it. So say I, Albert von Rostock, Consul of the East. As we move forward as a kingdom, we want to hear your counsel. We want to hear your words. We want to hear your thoughts. Show us what is good. Tell us what needs to be better. So say I, Agnes Tyndall, Consul of the East. Thank you for joining us this day. We most appreciate you watching and witnessing our coronation. There being no further business, here in closes the coronation court of their majesties, Tyndall and Albert. Long live Consul Tyndall! Long live Consul Tyndall! Long live Consul Albert! Long live Consul Albert! Long live the kingdom of the East! Long live the kingdom of the East! Maragorn and Adrian, Bruce and Florence, Alpin and Morgana, Akbar the First and Khadija the First, Urad and Fatima, Akbar the Second and Khadija the Second, Rakurai and Maureen. Cariadoc the first, and Diana the first. Jehan and Lorian. Akbar the third, and Khadija the third. Finvar and Caelan. Angus the first, and Alison. Asbjorn the first, and Eloise. Cariadoc the second, and Diana the second. Asbjorn the second, and Breca. Angus the second, and Isabel. Alaric and Isolt. Lair and Isabo the second. Fernando and Ianthi. Frederick and Nick Orlin. Girth and Melisande. Bertrand and Alanda. Shannon and Aiden. Visible the first and Embla. Gavin the first and Tamara, Michael and Carissa, Siegfried the first and Wanda the first, Elvwine and Aristorn, Hasdrubal the first and Cunegunda the first, Siegfried the second and Wanda the second, Visibald the second and Mara, Victor and Sedalia the first. Hastrubal the second and Amber, Hanno and Kunugunda the second, Morgan the first and Rowain the first, Siegfried the third and Wanda the third, Ronald the first and Bronwyn the first, 
Sebastian and Cerulean, Randall the first and Marika the first, Organ the second and Rowan the second, Gavin the second and Sedalia the second, Randall the second and Catherine the first, Morgan the third and Moriah, Horic and Leah, Ronald the second and Bronwyn the second, Rhys and Elena, Randall the third and Catherine the second, Balfar the first and Luna the first, Ruslan and Margaret, Lucan the first and Yana the first, Tsuranaga and Genevieve, Gregor the first and Christens the first, Lucan the second and Jana the second, Gregor the second and Christens the second, Timothy the first and Gabrielle the first, Balfar the second and Luna the second, Bjorn and Morgan, Lucan the third and Elspeth. Hans the first and Mora the first, Lucan the fourth and Caitlin, Timothy the second and Gabrielle the second, Brian the first and Anna the first, Hans the second and Mora the second, Lucan the fifth and Marika the second, Balfar the third and Luna the third, Andreas the first and Isabella the first. Hans the third and Olivia, Lucan the sixth and Yana the third, Darius the first and Roxanne the first, Andreas the second and Isabella the second, Darius the second and Roxanne the second, Balfar the fourth and Luna the fourth, Galfred Kelson the first and Jeanviev the first, Thorson and Spava. Galfred Kelson the second and Jeanviev the second, Darius the third and Roxane the third, Brian the second and Anna the second, Lucan the seventh and Yana the fourth, Griffith the first and Ekaterina the first, Andreas the third and Gabriella the first, Conrad the first and Brenwin the first. Darius the fourth, Alethea, Andreas the fourth, and Gabriella the second, Conrad the second, and Brenwin the second, Edward the first, and Marguerite, Griffith the second, and Ekaterina the second, Lucan the eighth, and Yana the fifth, Gregor the third, and Kenna the first. Kenric the first and Avelina the first, Edward the second and Thura, Gregor the fourth and Kenna the second, Kenric the second and Avelina the second, Brennan the first and Keelan the first, Edward the third and Thera the second, Omega the fifth and Ethaldreda the fourth, Brennan the second and Keelan the second. Kenric the third and Avelina the third, Brian the third and Anna the third, Ionis and Honig, Ivan and Matilde, Brennan the third and Keelan the third, Wilhelm and Vienna, Auser and Fortune, Margarita de Siena, I call now the roll for the Praetorian Guard. Donna Ying Feng Yu, Baron Magnus Wolfhunt, Lord Galbraith McAllen, Don Robert Tights, Pan Mikulai von Meissen, Baroness Alana of Skye, Lord Rafi Al Kassid, Lord Bison, Lord Duncad McLaughlin, Lady Irene von Lawson, Lord Elfline Agworth, Lord Thormir Barncarl, Lord Bran McArt, Lord Kirill Algab Halamet, 
play Cyrene, Alasakina, Bit Uriah, Lord Alistair Tucker, Kara Nyal's daughter, Lady Brigitte and Thomas O'Neill, Lady Mott Knockfalter, Lord Gunaim Fell, Nasir Ibn Maki, Lord Alfer Jarnhaus, Guillaume Duchantier, Melmira, Pia, and our youth guard, Alki, Von Ossenheim, and Constantine. 